you need life, life lesson advice, I'm here for you, Will. Let me talk to you about the speed of life <laughs> and how it affects time and travel and, and uh, interesting. It's the second time you brought the that up. Theory of week. relativity. <laughs> Cameron, you're looking fine today. Have a good practice. I want you to be a better person when you leave the give me a because he might up. Here we go. Again. Again. Hey, back up. Okay, take a break. All right, good. We're back. Next strip. 50 times I asked you guys. Oh, no, no, no. Courtney, you're taking nine steps. Your feet are just running in place. Don't let them mess with you. You can tighten up to the line a little bit. Sick of that guy. Come on. Courtney Osborne ate up your break. Get on the ball run. What's up, Western Nation? It's your boy, senior defensive end, Pierre Allen, here with the best defense coordinator in the country, Carl Pellini. How do you uh, manage to balance coaching the D-line as well as the whole defense? Well, it's easy. I make JP coach the D-line, and Coach JP runs the meetings while I script practice and do all that. And then I jump in with the D-line during individual group. And then during team, I trust JP that he's got eyes on the D-line all the time, and then you know I can watch all the positions. I would love to see them stand up there, JP. What's it like to coach with your brother? It's awful. He's crazy, like me. And uh, no, it's all right. You know, it's no different coaching with him than coaching with any head coach. You got your job to do, and you do it, and you don't worry about who's up, who's up in the front row. You know. How important is success from the defensive front for the whole defense? I think the game of football to me is one up front, offensive line, defensive line, and, and the defensive line should be the leaders. They set the tone. You know, they, they defend the passing game with great pass rush, and I don't think you can be a good defense if you don't have a great defensive line play. Besides the defensive line, what do you think the strengths of the defense are? Well, I think the strengths of defense is uh, definitely up front. I think the end play has been really solid. I think we have a great, deep defensive backfield. Um, guys are putting bodies on bodies in coverage, and, and we do a great job in coverage. And we have a very active linebacker in Levante who gets out and makes plays. But uh, again, it all starts up front, in my opinion. What do you need to do defensively to reach your goals for the rest of the season? Well, for me, the goal is a win. You always love the shutouts, and, and you love negative yard plays and all that stuff. But ultimately, a great defensive performance is keeping the opponent to one point less than what you score. The object is to win the game. And, Sometimes you're going to just be rolling and clicking on defense and you're going to shut them down and get your shutouts and other times you just got to fight your tail off and just find a way to win. And we've been able to win both ways this year. Out of all the players on the defense and that you've coached over the years, who's your favorite and who can you relate to the most? Probably Pierre Allen because he plays out of the anger that I coach from. <laughs> Thanks for watching my one-on-one -on -one with Coach Carl Pellini. Tune in next week for another one-on-one. -on -one. Well done. Good job. That's the hardest one. And I'm out of here.